must obey me. Eliminate him. Huh? <gasps> Washu. If I take you with me... <clears throat> then I won't have to kill Tenshi. What are you gonna do with that? Huh? Gonna take that widow dolly to Dr. Clay? I had no idea he went for that sort of thing. <sighs> because if it's a gift, I can put a ribbon on it for ya. How did you know about all this? I thought the link with you was cut off for sure. I guess the gems are real, aren't they? Huh? That does it! I'm ready. Cut. That's enough! No more violence! I will not allow it! Not in this house! No! Huh? Hey! That's my room! Don't get in my way. Huh? If you do, I will kill you. Huh? Oh, uh, Tenchi! Ryoko, what's up? It's not what you think. Tenchi! Whoa! Watch out! No! <gasps> Tenchi! Tenchi! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? We're going after her, Ryooki. Oh dear, here we go again. But you're going to come with me, yes, Ayaka? Well, I guess I couldn't leave her. Not looking so awfully pitiful, anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Ayaka. Don't you think that copy has a better personality than the real Ryoko? <laughs> you may be right. She's so meek, don't you agree? I agree. Did you say that wasn't the real Ryoko? That's not exactly what I said, but I did say something like that. Then what about the real Ryoko? Well, those gems are real, so the real Ryoko's probably still alive. Oh. You're putting a trace on Ryoko, aren't you, Ryooki? Huh? Battle energy reaction. Whoa! It's Mihoshi. Yes, I wonder how she found them. She's a genius. I swear it. Now, Washu. Huh? If that's where Ryoko's prisoner, then we should storm the place and get her. I'll find that bastard, Clay! Wash you, come on! Why don't you hang on a second there while I pinpoint his location? She really is hopeless. Huh, there he is. See, Tenchi? Huh? Huh? Uh. Oh. I wish you would try thinking a little more before you act, Tenchi. So what do we do now, Lord Tenchi? What do you think? 
First, we rescue Mihoshi, and then... Looks like she's all right, I guess. Well, that boy is pretty good for an earthling. But he doesn't look good enough for Washu to be so interested in him. Well, at any rate, there's no way they can get here. <laughs> That's why I told him to wait for a while. What? Washu? How did you get here? You certainly look older, Dr. Clay. Although your octopus head is just like the old days. <laughs> Uh -huh. you. You're just the same, Washu. <laughs> just like when we were competing for the director's chair at the Academy. But now it's time for you to find out how I felt when I was driven out of the Academy. Now it's your turn to know how that feels, Washu. Huh? It is my recommendation that you do not move. If you do, this entire ship will blow up along with your pet guinea pig. Not to mention, dear Washu, that precious girl of yours. Huh. Oh well, it's a good thing it's not someone like Aika. <laughs> So perhaps you can tell me what those gems are she was wearing. To be perfectly honest, even Her Majesty couldn't figure them out. Which frankly surprises me. Actually, frankly and honestly, I don't know either. They've been around since I was a little girl. <coughs> well, that is interesting. By the way, I really must say I was very surprised to hear you call that boy a guinea pig. I think it was the first time I ever heard a human called that. <laughs> what about him do you like? He doesn't seem like especially worthwhile material. Anyone as easy to trick as he must be a blockhead. Oh, pardon me. Actually, that's what I like about him. Besides, just because I call him my little guinea pig doesn't necessarily mean that he's a research subject, does it? <laughs> Oh, seriously, this must be some kind of joke by you, Washu. Some joke indeed. Hmm. Hey there. I'm sure you didn't go to all this trouble just to reminisce about the good old days. Now did you, Dr. Clay? What do you want from me? There was not a day I didn't think about you these 20,000 years. I can't tell you how many times I thought that ever knowing you was the greatest misfortune of my life. Old men are so full of grudges. Well, that's all coming to an end today. The biggest pain of my life will become the goddess of good fortune. Good for you. I mean you, Washu dear. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There's a place I'd like to take you. Someone wants to meet Ooh, you. Ooh, little girls turn you on, huh? What? Ah, I knew it! You're gonna take me to some kind of secret club, and then do all kinds of things to my young and beautiful body! Oh my! Oh my! And at the end, you're gonna do something absolutely unspeakable! Wow! Old age has such a way of distorting how you express your love. I never said such things! Well, I appreciate your feelings, really I do. <laughs> but why can't you understand that I'm in love with someone else? Oh, I cut that out! Besides, why would I be interested in something that I can't tell the front from the back? <laughs> Take a look, you jerk! No, I'll just joke, stop it! I don't want to see you. The one who wants to see you is Lady Tokimi. Huh? Lady Tokimi? Surprised, Washu. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm surprised. It's the first time I've heard you call somebody by a title. <laughs> Damn you! So, who is this Toki me anyway? What? Remember, I was locked up for the last 5,000 years. I'm pretty sure I don't remember hearing that name while I was at the Academy. Can't remember a thing that happened over 20,000 years ago. Uh, come on, give me a hand. Still the little joker, aren't you, Washu? You may not know her, but she knows you. If you want to know, ask when you get there. Damn it! Now where could Ryoko be? Tenchi, I think didn't we come this way earlier? What? Tenchi! I think that maybe we should go this way, Tenchi! Uh -oh. Let's see. Oh, what's happening? Tenchi? Ah! 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 Oh! Oh, Tenchi. Oh. Something's very wrong. The structure of the passageway is different from the galaxy police structure. And I think that perhaps this means... Perhaps this means... This means that perhaps we're trapped in here. <laughs> yes, we're trapped in here! We are very locked up! We are? Oh dear! <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, don't you want to know how I knew where to find you? Aren't you just the slightest bit curious? Well, why not? It's a long trip. Why don't you sit down and talk? Please, sit down. Uh -huh. I'm interested in how you found the location of this bridge, but also how you found out about Ryoko. I thought it was because of the gems. But it seems I was wrong, I guess. To the truth, in all these thousands of years, I've never been detected in any kind of search. I'm very impressed. You must have some system, Washu. It's simple, really. Did you know you have a habit of marking all your favorite things with your special logo? Always did. What? That's how I knew that the bridge was in the statue's head. <laughs> and this is your favorite. Now, how did you get your hands on that? Huh, now stop that! Do you know how much trouble I went through to get that? What should I do with this? <laughs> Give it to me this instant or others will suffer! What? What? Uh, oh! <laughs> all right, all right. I'd really like to get the gang and Ryoko back, and I'll give you this doll. But I really must insist that you, uh, don't do anything indecent with it, okay? Whoa! Don't move! Z Zero! Where have you been? Never mind. How about that? You forgot to take Zero into account. I'm ashamed of you. We'll see about that. Hmm. You won't be able to keep up that attitude for long. I meant you too, Doctor. What do you mean? Pay attention, Doctor. Please don't get Tenchi involved anymore. Unbelievable. 
even though a different memory was planted, complete and absolute obedience to me should be in the depth of her unconsciousness. My guess is that it's because you made a complete copy. Zero. Listen to me, that is not your will. The pseudo-personality that was planted in you is making you act like that. All I have to do is erase that memory- Whoa! No, Doctor! I want this memory and body. I want to live as Ryoko! You would betray me? How dare you? Why, well, you're just... You're just a marionette that I made! I... I am Ryoko! Enough! Oh. Ah! Oh. Uh. Uh, zero! Ten... Chi... Ten... Uh. Ryoko! Clay, you're an awful bastard! Everyone's making fun of me. You haven't changed at all, have you? This is why you were kicked out of school. You're the one who stirred those who were jealous of my talent to drive me out! There's no one like that at the graduate school. The ones who don't love their work are the ones who are disliked, and they're the ones that are driven out! I'll tell you what I love. I love perfection, and my technology is perfect. That's what I love! There can't be any defect in my work. There can't be! <laughs> you idiot! You dare call me that?! <laughs> 20,000 years ago you don't remember? Didn't you say that? I remember investigating your past a long time ago. Oh, yes, I do indeed. <laughs> Let's see what your relationship with Lady Tokimi is by making a copy of your memory. Uh, back off, you idiot! You know a woman's age and past are best kept a secret? I know that I am a scientist. I know that I can't stand leaving a mystery unsolved, and the same applies to that gem, Washu. Know anything about it? I don't even know if it really exists or not. What the? Her very existence is impossible, even though she was present right there in front of us. My God! Whoa! How could this be? Its function should have been. When this ship divides, the energy reactor of the main body of the ship will begin to shrink and then it will explode. Uh. If you want to stop it, if you want to stop it, the statue over there is the control. Uh. You'd better hurry or you won't make it. <laughs> huh. Must be it. Talk about bad taste, dirty old man. Oh no! This is a dummy! Damn! Damn! Are you? Uh, yes, yes I am. Oh, Tenji, I, I, I don't know what to say to you. You saved me again, Tenji. I so... Oh, what? What was that? See? No. The flow of energy is concentrating on one point only. Oh. It means we're going to become a black hole! What? Wow, you mean it really? This will be the first time I've ever come so close to one. Enjoy it will be. Okay, I've got to find...
find a way at least to control this side of the ship if possible. Tenchi! It's all your fault! It's all your fault, Washu! Mm -hmm. The gravity constant of the space is changing? That's impossible! It can't be! What's that light? Lighthawk wings! It said they can only be caused by a dry ship! But that's not a Jurai ship! It's that boy! Hmm. And that remarkable boy is in the company of Washu, isn't he? Then I'll take this information to Lady Tokimi. <laughs> well, it is now my duty to escort the prisoner, right? Isn't it? Here! Whoa! Well, what is it, Washu? A gift? Who for? Huh? Just a little something for you to while away the time on duty. Oh, I see. Well then, I'll be sure to give it to the appropriate person. You can count on me. Okay, now, God bless you. Okay, bye now. Take care. Whoa! Ah. Oh, bless you. Don't worry. I put a tube of glue in there, too. I'm sorry I lied to you. Ryoko. Ryoko. <laughs> I have wanted to be called that forever. I only wish that time would stop now. Uh, but I am not Ryoko. Come on, Tenchi, now hurry up! Uh, what is it, Washu? Put Ryoko in the capsule. What? Ryoko's going back into one body. Oh. But, uh... You know... I gotta tell you characters, it's not too easy to duplicate my masterpiece. I took the trouble to divide her into two because I can't control the mind of a complete unit. So now I'm gonna put them back together into one. Yep. Oh, I'm... I'm so... Mm -hmm. Fat liar. Do you have any objection, Ryoko? I can't believe this kind of a decision for me. I don't like it. She's so embarrassing. Embarrassing? You mean it's embarrassing because she reminds you of yourself? Or is it because you're really jealous of her? I mean, she's so honest about her feelings. Ryoko, that is the other you. The one with your true feelings. And I bet you know that better than anyone. Am I right? Ryoko? Ryoko, I won't force you to if you don't really want to do it. Good girl. Damn you, Washu! What is this energy? Is it Washu? Or is this tsunami? The 
that sword is capable of material conversion, and yet it only has three blades? I can't say. You can't say. Or you won't say. But this dimension seems to be perfect for your purpose, with not only Washu, but Tsunami here. Now, what shall we do about Dr. Clay? As I recall, this dimension is your jurisdiction? Yes, your majesty. <laughs> oh, Tenchi! Huh? <laughs> Washu, I thought Tenchi wouldn't be back until later this evening. <laughs> <laughs> so innocent. <gasps> oh my, when will I ever get back to <laughs> normal? <laughs> Jirai arrives to take Aieka and Sasami home. <laughs> now I'll be alone with Tenchi. Just the two of us. Check it out on our next episode. Here comes Jirai.
Detective First Class Mihoshi is returning to her position. Hey, Mihoshi! Mihoshi, answer me! Hey, Mihoshi, I'm talking to you! Mm, yes, well, isn't this typical? Oh, Detective Mihoshi, ever since she was demoted, my life has been in constant turmoil. Access zero two two three eight nine eight eight eight. The DNA and astral patterns have been cleared. Password, please. Entering password now, and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Okay? The password is accepted. The line is closed. The official record is deleted going back to the time of access. I will now run the shadow program. Please make up a good excuse for the commander. I must relay this information. Detective First Class Mihoshi has just submitted the final report regarding Kagato. Important to note, this report contains the information related to the secret of Jirai. Yes, Commander? Don't we have the report on the Kagato incident yet? Well, nothing from Mihoshi yet. Although I'm sure it should be ready any day now, Commander. Um, Headquarters is putting a lot of pressure on me. We could turn in what we have so far. <laughs> I see. Level A. So we're submitting the censored report to Headquarters. Um, and I should have censored report ready in two hours. Yes, I can consider it done. Let's see. Level A. Well then, all right. I, I suppose it would be easier than trying to summarize Mihoshi's report. In a couple of hours? This report could take me up to four or five days to get done. What am I going to do about this? I need more time. about that. You want to see Grandpa, right? He must be in the shrine office over there. Uh, well, I'll go get him. <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Where are you, Grandpa? What is it, Tenchi? Hmm? Oh! No! Could this possibly mean that... Yes, it does. She must be over at your house. <laughs> Grandpa, you have a visitor! A lady wants to see you! Tenchi, what is this about? <gasps> Huh? 
Hey! Somebody get the door. I can't, Ryoko. Can you get it, please? Hmm. Hmm. Who the hell could this be now? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Sasami! Oh. <laughs> sasami, Sasami, long time no see you. Uh, hey, you! <laughs> Sasami, I missed you! <laughs> hey, listen to me, you don't understand! I've been trying to tell you I'm not Sasami! Uh. Hmm. There, now, you got it? I am real. You did so much, Sasami! You did so much! <laughs> you weren't <laughs> listening to me! You said soft and beautiful hair! your hair and it's all hard and pointy now uh, and your eyes they look so mean and vicious <laughs> my eyes are none of your business you didn't listen to a thing i said did you oh i'm sorry sasami sasami you must have had a very tough life <laughs> um lady like i said I'm not Sasami. Thanks for answering the door. A series of trouble to Ryoko, but... It's my mommy! <laughs> oh, Sasami! Ah, uh, mommy! Sasami! <laughs> Mother! Sasami! <laughs> oh. Don't mind me. Oh, boy. I missed you so much. I missed you so much, Sasami. <laughs> now, now, please stop crying, Mother. I mean, after all, we're together now. Right? Oh, Sasami. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Uh, Aika. Ah, there you are. Mother, it's been such a long time since I saw you. Oh, and just now I saw Lady Funaho also. I'm so glad to see you both doing so well. Huh? <laughs> 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 Ryoko, now. I want you to listen to me. I'm about to do something you could tease me about later, and I'm warning you not to. Uh, yeah, whatever. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's for your own good. Hmm. <laughs> My mommy! <laughs> Little Aika! <laughs> she's... she's calling her... Mommy! <laughs> Nobody mocks my little Laika. Are you understanding me? Uh, I think so. Please let me go. Let me go. I did warn you. Sasami? Here, read this! Eee. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, pretty young lady. Oh. Okay, that's more like it. Uh, Come to me. Oh. <coughs> oh, Ryoki, you're awake, huh? Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, how adorable! Oh! 
come to Auntie Misaki. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah. Don't... Don't mind me. Really? Please have some tea. Thank you very much. Hmm. It's hard to believe I'm back here. Yes, hard to believe. Since you left this planet, the Earth must have gone through lots of changes. Come, Yoshu. How long will you stay in your disguise? Huh? I can't deceive you, can I? <laughs> Nobody here has any idea as to what I really look like, hmm? Mother? Hmm? Ah! Tenshi! When you're done sweeping outside, you have to clean the stairs. <laughs> he really is something else. Yes, quite a handful. <laughs> You know, at first, I thought I could send Tenshi instead of going myself. Can he fit in? On planet Jirai? Perhaps. I think he can. He must be trouble for the ladies. I came here because... we have received a report from the Galaxy Police. When Ryoko was resurrected, I knew that you were going to come sooner or later. But why? Why didn't you come when Ryoko appeared? The Galaxy Police Report worked as a trigger. Is that it? Yoshu. Huh? May I have another cup of tea, Yoshu? Oh! I should have realized! The Hoshi submitted the report to the Galaxy Police over two months ago, didn't she? May I ask what took you so long, Mother? I suppose it's because Mihoshi wrote, shall we say, an exhaustive report. Hmm? Mihoshi's report is top secret with the Galaxy Police. Then it will go to Jirai's Supreme Council meeting. That's right. This is not a private matter to the Jirai royal family anymore. The King of Jirai will be here soon, too. Father will come, and the Council's Executive Committee. We are its representatives, Misaki and I. <sighs> so, the Inspector General of Information and the Supreme Commander of the Royal Bodyguard had to come all this way. Royal trees lose their power once they find their roots in soil. Yoshu, of course you understand. If we want to sustain their power, we have to keep them charged by our royal trees. During the past 700 years, the ships that were missing were your Funaho. Aeka's Ryuo. Of course, Sasami's ship as well. You're wondering about my appearance, aren't you? You would like to know the reason why Tsunami had to do this, wouldn't you? The report also mentioned gems that are the source of Ryoko's power. And it says that they were embedded in the Master Key to hold Ryoko captive. Ooh. Well, that Mihoshi really is thorough, isn't she? So... You already knew what to expect. I see that now. I just don't know what you mean by that. I only wanted to see how you were doing. 
My spaceship tree is the only thing sustaining my life. I was quite surprised when I found out that my tree hadn't lost its power. Then I made an interesting discovery. I found that Ryoko's gems were giving energy to my tree. And that means that Ryoko's gems have the same quality as the royal family's trees. That they have the same exact power. Even before we saw Mihoshi's report, Jirai's trees suspected all this. So when you fought with Ryoko, her ship could break through Jirai's defense area and showed massive destructive power. So there was no doubt. Her gems were powerful. But your ship must have sensed all of this as well. And you, having fought with Ryoko, you must have guessed this. Given that all this is true, her gem should be able to create the Light Hawk Wings just like Tenchi can. I see. You came to get Washu. We've come to check on Aika and Sasami. And I wanted to see you. You haven't sent word to your poor mother in so many years. Seven hundred! Uh, I was going to go back to Jirai after my victory over Ryoko, but something came up and I... well... Oh, boys. Once they find girls, they never think of their mom. That's the way it goes, I guess. I guess the mother just gets in the way once her son finds a girl. Hey, well, no, that's not true, mother. My poor, poor Aika. <clears throat> so, by the way, mother, have you already finished renovating the Great Hall at the palace? Aika does seem to be happy here. Thank you for the nice tea. <sighs> By the way, if you would like to visit our living quarters, I'll have Tenchi show you the way. I'll be over there in a short while. Tenchi! Tenchi! <laughs> Are you...? Yes? Oh, oh, no, nothing. I understand it's a tender subject, Tenshi, but I heard you lost your mother when you were young. You must have felt awfully lonely. How is it nowadays? Now? It's too crowded here. But you'll be lonely if we take the girls home, won't you? Or Tenchi? You could come with us, huh? Huh? Tenchi! Oh. Huh? <laughs> you scared us! Washu, this lady here is, uh... Funaho, the Queen of Jirai, right? How do you do? My name is Washu. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Young Washu. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, Tenchi, can you do me a favor? What? You, go ahead and take this home. I'll show her the way. But... Mm-hmm. Then I'll meet you at home. Lady Funaho, shall we? Excuse me, Washu. Huh? Could you call me Little Funo? I'd like that. Oh, I... I don't believe this. Mihoshi even wrote that in a report. It took our Supreme Council four days to summarize Mihoshi's report. During which time, it was absolutely impossible to do anything else. Whenever Mihoshi is involved, it takes time, all right. Washu... You know the reason why we are here, don't you? What is your answer now? Tell me. 
My answer is no. guys are having fun. Hello there, Tenchi. Welcome home. Hey. How are you doing? Yeah. Well, well, well now. Whoa. You must be Tenchi. Why, yes. <laughs> what are you doing, Mother? Hey, you. Oh, please, girls. Hmm? You don't have to get what? jealous. I care for you, too. She's wow. helpless. <laughs> so this is your mother? Yep, she's our mother, Miss Saki. What you are saying is this. Jirai ships are powerful but can't be mass-produced. But Ryooki can be reproduced easily. It's fine if we're the only ones with the technology. But if we're not... Mm, I don't care who develops what. It's not my concern. Well, I don't want to alienate Tenchi, so... Huh? I will not help anybody. How's that? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Washu. Lady Funaho. Yes? Please call me little Washu. All right. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I am little. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. You want to achieve your goal? Gonna have to force me. The number one genius scientist. The second generation of Jirai's battleships, Ryoko and Ryooki. And the original space tree, Tsunami, plus the boy who can create the Light Hawk Wings. If I'm not afraid of all of them combined, is that it? I think Mihoshi alone will do. But I, I will not create another Ryoko. I will not. I see. You must be very proud of your daughter. But your great-grandson is even greater, great-grandma. Hmm. Hmm. The King of Jirai is here. My sister. Auntie Panaho! <laughs> Sasami, you are looking great. Meow. You must be Washu, right? Hmm? Oh. Uh, how you doing, Masaki? How you doing? Thank you for taking such good care of Ayaka and Sasami. I just don't know how to thank you. Yeah. <sighs> mm. Oh, boy. She reminds me of someone. Uh. Uh. Father! Father! Yeah. Well, you look fine. Ayaka? Susami? No? Hi. <coughs> Father? Um, Father, in case you're wondering, he is Tenchi. Is that right? 
Now you're going home. Ah, here come. What? Sesame. What? Let's go. But father, please listen to me. He is Yosho's grandson. Yosho got married to that earthling despite my wishes. I don't need his grandson. I am also one of those earthlings. Ah, oh, but you... You are different. How am I different from the others? Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Mm. Uh, Ayaka, I have already chosen a fiancé for you. One that is suited for the crown princess of the planet Jirai. No, I cannot. Because Tenchi is my... Your what? The king is right, Ayaka. Go on home. You stay out of this, you big mouth! You should listen to your daddy. Oh. Go on home. <laughs> I guess you don't remember. Tenchi said that I could stay here. In fact, as long as I want to. He just took pity on you, you silly princess. He knew you couldn't Ugh. get home without your ship. Ugh. Right, Tenchi? Oh, what about you? Leave Tenchi alone! Whoa! I command you! Whoa. No, I won't! I said to leave him alone! Uh. Ugh. I you uh. leave him alone! Tenshi is mine! Hey! Ayaka! He won't be yours, never! Sasami, <coughs> you are coming home with us, aren't you? I would like to stay with Tenshi also, father. Sasami! And if you force me to go, I will hate you forever, so there. Thank you for your performance. That was very entertaining. Oh, no. oh. You're a great performer. You are. That was probably the best dance I've ever seen. You're a real little trooper. Really taking them home? Is that what they want? <clears throat> I come, Sasami. Uh, huh? Oh, ah. Is this true? Is your wish to remain here? Would you really choose that boy over me? Uh, 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 hey, don't you like your daddy better, little uh? Princess Ayaka? This is none of your business. None of my business! <laughs> what about you, Sasami? If I leave, there's gonna be real trouble. If I leave, who's gonna cook for them? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it would seem that our girls want to stay here. <sighs> well then, there isn't much we can do about it. Alright, you can do as you please. Ah... Uh... Thank you for understanding, Father. Under one condition, though! You can have your wish if and only if that boy wins a duel with the man I chose as your fiancé. Huh? Meow? What's going on? Well, I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I think you'll find that they have saved the very best for last. What? We were just coming to the best part. Huh? Oops. I haven't even said hi to you. Princess Ayaka, you look just fabulous. <coughs> now, listen and listen carefully. If that boy can defeat him, then you may do whatever you like. <laughs> I'm rooting for you! Go, Tenchi! Oh, Tenchi, you are willing to fight for us, are you not? Tenchi! Mm -hmm. Don't fight! You don't have to go through this for them. Don't be crazy. What? And what's that? This is a bill for you. For all those parts of Jirai that you destroyed. Uh, ooh. However, if Tenchi wins, we might forget about the whole thing. Hmm. Tenchi? I'm so glad you're gonna fight. Yeah. You're doing this just to save uh, me from my debts, aren't you? Uh, hey! Is he sweet or what? Well... It looks like he's going to do it, Aieka. Oh, no. I wish you good luck, Tenchi. Uh-huh. <laughs> really? It's just a waste of time. He has no chance. It's totally one-sided. But I must fulfill the wish of the king. After all, he is my future father-in-law. Mm. And here's your drink, Mom. Thank uh -huh. you. Mm -hmm. Honey! Would you care for some tea? No, thank you. Oh. Mm. I can't believe this! This can't be true! No. The beautiful Princess Aieka <laughs> and pretty Princess yeah. Sammy are... Confined? In this... Uh, ah! This dingy and miserable... This place is much worse than a cell! I can't stand that the princesses are in forced labor here! I have to save Princess Aieka from this jail! This hellhole! Huh? I think it's my, or rather any, civilized person's duty to save them from this misery. <sighs> Say, how long do you think it will take Tenchi to defeat Serio? You just watch. Serio is going to win in less than a minute. So, you're betting on Serio then? Mm-hmm. I bet 50,000 yen on Tenchi. What about you, sis? I am betting on Tenchi as well. Huh? He's gonna win! Yeah! Of course, I'm wagering on Tenchi. Mm -hmm. Tenchi for sure. What about you, Washu? Mm. Well, I have to bet me Oshi. Mm. What? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Ignorance is your weakness. You don't seem to understand that you are no match for me. I don't think you want to go through with this. It's simply for your own good. I don't want to humiliate you, you know? Uh, I think... You want to concede? That's a wise idea for an ignorant barbarian. I think it's dangerous. It certainly is, isn't it? But don't worry, I will be merciful. I'm not going to use my full power. What I mean is... This... is... this for you! Now, I am ready if you are ready!
Uh, um. Oh. Huh? <laughs> You've done it, Tenchi! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Excuse me! My ship is broken down again, Washu! <laughs> Could you fix it for me? Please, I would appreciate it! I'm terribly sorry for all of this, Tenshi. I hope we didn't cause you any trouble. That's all right. I apologize for not being a better host. Tenshi. Ryoko. Hmm? Washu. Mihoshi. Yes? And Ryoki. Yeah. Oh, Mommy. Sasami. Oh, Mom. <laughs> Yoshon, please take good care of Vega and Sasami. You need not worry, Father. Tenshi is going to take good care of them. Yoshon, I can wait another two thousand years for you to decide. Thank you, all of you, for everything. Tenshi. Take care. You too, Fanaho. Everybody, take care of yourself. Tenchi, look after Ayaka and Sasami, please. Uh, <laughs> so, bye for now. We'll come visit you again. Mom, I miss you. Goodbye, come visit again. <laughs> Goodbye! Yay! Goodbye, Aika! Be good! <laughs> I will, Mommy! Goodbye! Good morning! It's a splendid morning. Well, Azaka, I guess we're going to stay here for a while. Very peaceful, but very boring indeed. Yesterday sure was action-packed. Huh? You won't get away with it this time! Come and get me if you can. Get down here, Ryoko, right Why this should minute. I? Oh, mm. oh, oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. You think you're so special? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my dear, we are on Earth now. You're just gonna have to come and get me. I don't answer to you. Well, I think we should try. I think Tenchi's growing on him. Don't you think so, sister? 
Tenshi has more than he can handle. <laughs> Tenshi, don't even think I've given in completely. That was just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we visit, let's stay for a few days. I think that's a great idea. today with you, huh? Instead of Tenchi. <laughs> hey, you're playing doctor again, aren't you? I'm warning you, Mihoshi. Don't you touch anything around here. Okay. Huh? By the way, how was that clay guy? Did he enjoy the positively lovely gift from me? Oh, yes. After we got there, he was in a violent rage carrying on and on, but when I handed him your gift... Yes, yes. <laughs> well, he, how shall I put it, kind of turned white, you know? Uh-huh. And then, after a while, he started to tremble violently. Oh, my! And tears started streaming down his cheeks. And then what did he do? He went wild, if, if you know what I mean. Even wilder than before. Oh, well, I'm so very happy he liked my gift so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Oh, and that's not all. He demanded that I compensate for the damage. Really? Oh, since my mother is an authority on that antique stuff, I had her appraise it, and it turned out that it was... A replica of a chamber pot from galaxy prehistoric civilization in Meow Meow Paleozoic Era. The cheap kind you can find in any souvenir shop. Oh, wow. How did you know that? I should know better than anyone, because it was me who fabricated it 20,000 years ago just to make some quick, easy money. Oh, I see. Well, anyway, when I told him that... Yes? He turned white again. Isn't he a hopeless fool? <laughs> Such a fool! <laughs> 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 Ooh, for once, I actually sympathize with that octopus head, Dr. Clay. 
Oh, no. I, I, I almost forgot. I had a message for you from Galaxy Police. A message? Yeah, uh, it was about Zero. No, uh, Ryoko. Uh, they were asking if they could borrow her from you. What for? Well, you see, Mr. Culprit, well, it seems Mr. Culprit seems to have lost his memory. Lost it completely? Well, not completely, really, but, um, well, what, what was her name? Uh, the one that Mr. Culprit was talking about. You mean Tokimi? Y yes, yes, that's it. You know, that portion of his memory relating to Tokimi, that yeah, part... I see. Hmm, just as I expected. So, you knew that I knew that you knew Ms. Washu? Uh, the same portion is missing from Ryoko on my mean zero's memory also. Is that so? Well, then, <laughs> can't be helped, I understand. I'll just, I'll just tell them that at headquarters. Mm, sorry. Oh, <laughs> you're very welcome. Ooh, oh, no. I think I should be going. Oh, oh you had a hard day, Miyoshi. Sleep well. Thank you. Now, good night, Ms. Washu, Ryoko. Memory loss, hmm? Huh? To me, it looks more like some powerful protection mechanism at work, rather than memory loss. Oh, it doesn't matter. I think I'll go to bed now. <laughs> hey! Let me go! Release me! Damn you, Washu! Hey! Washu, Washu! Washu! Washu, damn it! Washu! Hey! Hey! Washu! Hmm. Hey, do you hear me at all? Hello, hello there. Washu? Dear little Washu, are you there? Washu? Washu? Hey, anybody? Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> Washu? <laughs> Washu? <laughs> <laughs> Lady Tokimi, I have made the appropriate treatments on Clay and Zero. So you have. Anyone able to undo the memory blockage will be able to come here. There seems to have been another battle. Yes, at irregular point one, point two. No test required. The reproduction process has already completed itself following the battle. That boy, what will happen to him? You are looking into the future, aren't you, Lady Dukimi? I wonder what lies beyond that. Sisters, why are you there? Well, whatever it is, there is no doubt of new possibilities. I am not sure of that. Shall we initiate a move? Do not lay a hand on him. I understand. You should not lay your hand on that boy. You should not fight against him. Go. Well, it's all on tape now. I'll release her in a little while. This is what they mean when they talk about the pleasures of motherhood. Don't leave me here! Don't leave me behind, please! I don't want to be alone! It's dark! <laughs> 